Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future for Nature Awards. I am astounded every year by how many of you come here to be part of this event, which just goes to show that out there, there is this amazing community of people who are ready always to make that effort for wildlife. That we will know that in the end, it is that one individual that matters. That one individual that has passion, that one individual that has fire in the belly, as he put it, that is determined to get things done. And today, thanks to Future for Nature, we can honor three such individuals. And our hopes for the future lie with these young conservationists. His dream is to incorporate this into our daily life so that reverence for nature becomes our central mantra for living. We have so much to learn from him. Manoj, please come to the stage. You just imagine, sometimes I just spend some time alone in the bank of Karnali River with long elephant, um, tall elephant grass in the background facing south. It's a sunset view, a vast um, water surface, and then there's some ripple in the water surface created by these majestic creatures, really, really ancient creatures. And you, you, you feel a different kind of connection with them. You know, God knows what they've seen throughout these uh, years and years of evolution. Uh, God knows what happens. Only they know what happens uh, underneath the murky water of, uh, of, the, of the Himalayan flood plains. And they are about to disappear, like the angry river dolphins. And we cannot afford to um, let them just go. And uh, that's what keeps me going um, about them. And he's made big plans to expand the range of the Jaguar by trying to connect different biodiversity hotspots to each other. We are delighted to be supporting him in this very commendable project. And uh, Jose, come up here and tell us some more. Thank you. That means I don't want to take, make a decision and then regret because I didn't know what I was doing. So um, I've, I've worked in Colombia and Costa Rica, you know, from creating protected areas and creating management plans for important biodiversity areas, all the way to work with communities um, to, to come up with solutions to environmental problems. So after all this experience in, in working with animals, I obviously, and uh, Professor McDonald will agree with me, carnivores are among the most beautiful and amazing species in the world. Um, and after working with them and trying to understand what's threatening these animals, I, I try to understand, and I, I think I know now that the, the problem here is that we are trying to unlink, to separate humans from nature. And that's impossible. We are the same, we are sharing the same space, we are sharing the same planet, and that means we need to bring everything together. In her chosen career, and her carefully planned holistic conservation efforts have radically enhanced the survival of Mozambique's dugongs. She is both a hugely impressive candidate and she is hugely deserving of this prize. Karen. To people, to audiences like you, and to, to plant a little seed of love in, in your heart so that you get to walk out of this room today in love with a not-so-pretty animal like that. Um, the dugong is a vastly unknown species outside of its range. Um, so today's ceremony really provides me with that leverage to, to, to you know, put my species into the spotlight to advance their plight and to leverage further support and funding uh, for conservation initiatives required to protect it. So I can't quite believe the generous prize offered by Future for Nature, and I have pinched myself several times. Um, this will enable me to apply critical conservation uh, activities that would have otherwise gone, well, otherwise been neglected. So, from the bottom of my heart, 
I am truly grateful and I thank you. To remedy. So I want to sort of conclude by thinking about nature's social union for the future. Science, livelihoods, global thinking about big scale processes. I think what we heard from the speakers today, from the winners today, was a wonderful blend of detail, knowing your game, understanding, if you like, the bricks. Bricks which now have to be assembled into a cathedral into a wonderful monument at a different scale that is not a local scale, but embraces thinking about geopolitics, about macroeconomics, about the way the world is going to work. And I think, Manoj, your living conservation captured something of that thought.